Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Joe Garber. And information governance seems to be something that is bubbling up as a hotter topic again in these days of big data. Can you kind of break down what that is? Absolutely. Well, you know, information governance has got a lot of different definitions, but the one that we've really focused in on and the one that we've then vetted with analysts is about you know, really a couple of key parts. It's a modular portfolio of uh, solutions that allow you to access and, and understand your information within the enterprise. Not some small set of, of enterprise information, not just unstructured information, not just structured information, but and not just in one place, not just in one repository, for example, but, but all information in the enterprise. So it's being able to access that information, understand that information, which is just as important. Uh, understanding information allows you to um, be able to apply policy to that data and make some smart decisions about what to do with it. But if you if you can't do that, if you can't understand the, the aboutness of the content, then it's really hard to make some smart decisions like how do I, what value does this have and therefore what policies do I put on it? So being able to access and understand that information, being able to organize and control it by putting by classifying that information, understanding what the value is, as I said, and then applying policies, not just in a manual way, but in a scalable, enterprise-wide way. So you have uniform policies across your information, across the enterprise. That's really the second big piece. And then being able to then leverage and take action on that information, uh, not just for legal and compliance reasons, so that's very important because that will always be a driving force for information governance, but also for, for business reasons, for data management reasons. It's, it's really about uh, governing the enterprise information to control it and make sure that you have the ability to get value from that information over time. How does big data change the information governance, or, or does it? Well, it's a, it's a great question. The answer is it absolutely does. It's, you know, information governance, I started to say a second ago, is really about, um, historically, about legal and compliance, managing risk, making sure that you're protecting the organization from things like accidental data spoliation, a fancy way of saying not deleting information when you're supposed to have, supposed to retain it over time, uh, but, uh, and or protecting from security breaches or lowering costs. But really what's, what's happened, is, as we see here at the show this year, and, and even in, in the, the previous show, is the conversation about big data has really helped organizations see there's value in your information as well. I, if, I, if I govern my information more effectively, I can mine that information more effectively because I have a smaller set of data to look at. And moreover, you've already pre-accessed it and understood it, as we talked about earlier, which allows you to then apply analytics or, or leverage that information for getting strategic insights or understanding your customers better, or even something as simple as understanding why you're continually putting some information on legal hold uh, you know, with a certain custodian, a certain person within the organization. If you can understand what the root problem is, that's value to the organization as well. So that, that emerging understanding that there's value in my information, if I can cap into it, that really is a very important part of what, why information governance is really coming to the forefront today. So and of course we're here at HP Discover, so what uh, what innovations is HP seeing around information governance and, and how is HP kind of helping customers solve that problem? Well, you know, part of it is, you know, there are a lot of technologies, quite candidly, that have been around for, for many years that, that help perform information governance to some degree. For example, information archiving or records management. Uh, but the integration of those products, so they can work together in a modular fashion, as, as I said, that's kind of one of our key definitions, is historically information governance was really, I'm talking five, 10 years ago, was really kind of a boil the ocean approach. I had to put a platform in, the time to value was so far out that I didn't really get any value out of it. If you have a modular set of technologies that work together, you can start small and build over time. So some of the innovation is just simply getting these technologies to work together. Uh, but, but in addition to that, one of the real the areas that we're really excited about is is the area of file analysis. And there are a number of analysts that are that are initiating coverage on this concept of of looking at unstructured information and, and, and understanding the value of that information, and and ultimately making you know again some very smart decisions. For example, uh, the, our control point technology allows an organization to go in and look at unstructured information in, in email repositories and file shares and SharePoint. That's effectively dark data that hasn't been perhaps access for a long period of time that's really kind of unknown, unmanaged, if you will, uh, presents some significant risk to the organization. If, uh, if an organization can, can go in, look at that information, and make some decisions on, well, this information is, is redundant or obsolete or trivial. In other words, it has no value to the organization, which is typically 40 to 70% of, of enterprise information. Really, that, uh, that much? That much, absolutely. Um, then, then you can do something like a, apply a policy to dispose of that information with an audit trail so you know exactly why you did it. 
Um, and that's real, for some organization, that's an information governance project in and of itself. But there, there might be another step, as we talked about the modularity of, if I could then take the, the, the good stuff, if you will, the valuable information that came out of that, that the other end of the 40 to 70%, and migrate that information to an archive or a records management system or to the cloud, uh, and, and, and then manage that information with the same policies and the same rigor as go forward data, uh, you, you've got something there. You've, you've now got a governance strategy, and moreover, you can then access that information, apply the analytics as we talked about to get more value from it. So file analysis is really, and, and again, our control point technology is an area that we're, we're talking about a lot here at Discover and, and we're pretty excited about. And we all want better access to our data. And Absolutely. Our Absolutely. Right. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, thank you.